Yeah. <coughs> Dear candidates, I welcome you. Um, continuing with the fraction is specifically still on application of fraction is our example one so far is John spent a third of his money on books and a sixth of the remainder on transport. Part of this is what fraction of his money was spent on transport. Uh, we only have to understand the question. That's the reading, interpreting it. John spent a third of his money, that's on books, and a sixth of the remainder on transport. Then what fraction of his money was spent on transport? What is telling us more about transport is a sixth of the remainder being on rather being spent on transport. So we need to note that. Uh, <clears throat> we first of all obtain the remainder here. We need to know what the remainder is or what the remainder was for that case. After spending a third of his money, what remained? That's what, what helps us to get the remainder. After spending a third of his money, what was left? So we shall have yeah, the total figure in terms of money, or in terms of fractions, we are taking it as one, then minus what was spent on books, which is one out of three, considering the denominator three, we have the one whole now as three out of three, minus one out of three. This will now give us two out of three. This one is just the remainder. That's the remainder. Now to get what, oh, to get the fraction for transport, the fraction for transport, yeah, we are understanding the second part of it, which is a sixth of the remainder was spent on transport. Therefore, we come up with a sixth of the remainder now, which remainder is two out of three. This will now give us one out of six of the remainder, which is two out of three. And this will now give us one out of six of is replaced by multiplication sign. That is times two out of three which will now give us 1 times 2 as 2 out of 6 times 3, which is 18. We can reduce this. We can take this or its equivalence. The equivalence we can reduce by 2, 1, then by 2, 9, giving us 1 out of 9. Meaning that he spent one out of nine on transport. Yeah, that's the first part of the question. Then we go to the second part of the question straight away. If he was left with 15,000 shillings, how much did he have at first? How much did he have at first? If he was left with that much, Yeah, <clears throat> handling this part of, part of the question, we have to first get to know which fraction was left. Meaning that <clears throat> rather after spending a third of his money on books, then one out of nine on transport, what was left? 
So we need to get the fraction left fast. Fraction left, uh, we are to have one whole as the total fraction, then minus what was spent on books, which is one out of three, then plus what was spent on transport in terms of fractions, which is one out of nine, this will now give us one whole minus. Yeah, since we are having fractions of different denominators, we get their LCM. The LCM of 3 and 9, this remains 9. And if we get that common denominator as 9, then... 1 out of 3 times the, the LCM plus 1 out of 9 times the LCM. By 3, once, by 3, 3, then by 9, once, once. Uh, we are left with 1 minus or take away 3. For 1 times 3 gives us 3, plus 1 times 1 gives us 1, all that out of the common denominator, 9. This will now give us 1 minus 4 out of 9. Now that, yeah, here we are subtracting, and we are taking the common denominator, 9, then putting one whole, or putting it in terms of 9, this will give us 9 out of 9 minus 4 out of 9, which will now give us the common denominator 9. Then the numerators remain as they are. That gives us 5 out of 9. That's just the fraction that was left after spending a third of his man on books and one out of nine on transport. Then, we are still answering this question that if he was left with 15,000 shillings, how much did he have at first? So we are taking the fraction left as 5 out of 9 and the amount of money which was left the cash amount of money left which is also 15,000 shillings therefore it is 5 out of 9 which is equivalent to 15,000 shillings in this case, we do not know how much he had at first. Then we let, since we don't know that much, we let the amount of money he had at first. be any little of our choice. Take, we, we can take K. That means 5, the fraction 5 out of 9 of the total amount of money he had at first, which we are looking for. This gives us what was left. 15,000 shillings. The 15,000 shillings. Then, next, yeah, here we have formulated an equation 
we have formed an equation, then we solve it. Five, this gives us 5 out of 9 times k, which will equal to 15,000 shillings. Multiplying 5 times k, get 5k out of 9, which equals to 15,000 shillings. Then we need to, <coughs> yeah, we multiply 9 on both sides. Yeah, oh, multiply 9 on both sides. Oh, both sides by 9. This side multiplied by 9, that side by 9. The 9 cancels with the 9, and we are left with 5k, which gives us 15,000 times 9. We want to remain with the k this side. Therefore, divide both sides by 5. Shall have 5k out of 5, which equals to, which will equal to 15,000 multiplied by 9, still divided by 5. Such that by 5, once by 5, once we are left with the k this side, then by 5, that then 15 into 5 gives us a 3. Then zeros, zeros, zeros. This gives us 3,000 multiplied by 9. Then our k will be 3 times 9 is 27. Then last three zeros giving us 27,000 shillings. Meaning that, yeah, he had 27,000 shillings at first. That's before spending a third on books and a sixth leather and a ninth on transport. He had 27,000 shillings a week. After stating that let the, total, the amount of money he had at first BK, we can simply leave it that way or can conclude and we say that the total amount of money he had at first is 27,000 shillings. Yeah, going to example two, uh, we have that three out of seven of the flutes in the basket are mangoes, one out of three of the remainder are oranges and 24 are apples. In part A, what fraction are oranges? What fraction are oranges? Yeah, we still have to read, interpret that three out of seven of the flutes are leather. Three out of seven of the flutes in the basket are mangoes, meaning that we know the fraction of the mangoes in the basket. Yeah, mangoes take three out of seven, then we are, <coughs> yeah, we are not given that for oranges, but we can use the second statement to help us get the fraction for oranges, which is one out of three, or a third of the remainder are oranges. Of the remainder, meaning that we first get, or we first obtain the remainder, we should get to know the remainder first. For if three out of seven of the flutes are mangoes, then what remains is there in terms of fractions. So we shall have the total fraction as one minus the three out of seven, which is for mangoes. This will now give us, taking that denominator seven, one whole will be seven out of seven minus three out of seven, and this will now give us the common denominator 7, the numerators remain three, 7 minus 3, which is 4 out of 7. And that's just the remainder. Then <coughs> the fraction for oranges.
fraction for oranges. Yeah, we are told that a third of the remainder, a third of what remains after the mangoes is that fraction for oranges. This will now be a third of the remainder. Which remainder is 4 out of 7? Then we replace off with a multiplication sign. Then multiplying 1 times 4 gives us 4 out of 3 times 7, which is a 21. Therefore, the, the fraction for oranges is 4 out of 21. 4 out of 21. Then part B, part B, what fraction are apples? Or what is the fraction for apples? To get the fraction for apples, now that we know the fraction for mangoes, we know the fraction for oranges, we simply get their sum and subtract it from the whole. So it will still be a whole minus that for mangoes, which is 3 out of 7, plus that for orange. Yeah, the one for oranges, which is 4 out of 21. This will now give us 1 minus. Now that the denominators are not the same, we get the LCM. And the LCM of 7 and 21 will be 21. So this is 3 out of 7 times 21, the LCM, plus 4 out of 21, then times the LCM still, 21. Such that by 7, 1, by 7, 3. Then by 21, by 21, that. You're left with 1 minus 3 times 3, 9 plus 4 times 1, which is a 4. All that out of the LCM, all the common denominator, 21. This will now give us 1 minus 13 out of 21. Then taking the common denominator, 21, putting the one whole, yeah, one whole will be 21 out of 21 minus 13 out of 21. This will now give us, all that the denominators are the same, we get that common denominator 21, then 21 minus 13 will be the numerators. And when we subtract, we come up with 21 minus 13, it's 8 out of 21. Yeah. That, that becomes the fraction for a pause. Then, after that, we go to part C. How many flutes are in the basket altogether? How many flutes are in the basket altogether? Now that we know, according to the question, we, we know the fraction for mangoes, but we do not know the exact number of mangoes in the basket. We know the fraction for, so far we know the fraction for oranges, but we don't know the exact number of oranges in the basket. Now we know the number of apples, the exact number of apples in the basket, and we've got their fraction as 8 out of 21. Therefore, we have to take the fraction for apples. Fraction for apples as 
8 out of 21 and the number of apples as 24. Then taking this we let, since we do not know the number of fruits in the basket, we let that Let the number of fluids in the basket be an let of our choice. Let us take P for this case. There are, that means the fraction of apples, which is 8 out of 21, of the total number of fluids in the basket, which is P, will give us the number of apples, which is 24, which is 24. Then replace of the multiplication sign. This will be 8 out of 21 times P, which equals to 24. 8 times P, here class, that gives us 8P, then out of 21, which equals to... 24. Yeah, we want to remain with 8P. Eliminating 21, we multiply 21 on both sides. Or both sides by 21. 8, 21. This side multiplied by 21. Then the 24 also multiplied by 21. We cancel this by that. We are left with 8P this side, which gives us 24 multiplied by 21. And we want to remain with P, meaning that we divide 8 on both sides, or both sides by 8. This will give us 8P which equals to 24 multiplied by 21. This side. Side divided by 8, even that by 8. By 8 once, then by 8 once. We are left with the P this side, then by 8, that, then we have 24 into 8 as a 3. Then this will be 3 multiplied by 21. Then the P will give us 3 times 21, come up with 23. Another 63 fluids this time, not apples, but we are looking for the total number of fluids in the basket, which is 63 fluids. We can stop there for that, or can conclude by saying that the total number of fluids in the basket.